Online classes, I have mixed feelings about them. I like them because I need not physically go to a classroom to attend a class. I can be anywhere doing anything but still attend the online class. I don't like them because I need to still join the class on time without fail or else I'll be simply marked absent. Well, as they say, modern problems do require modern solutions. So be it. This video is sponsored by Dashlane. Using Dashlane, you can save your passwords, credit card details, addresses, etc. securely. You can lock and unlock your saved data on Dashlane with a master password. Also, when you save your credentials or credit card or address information on Dashlane, Dashlane can automatically fill this data whenever and wherever required on your web browser, thus saving you lots of time. You can generate random, unique, strong passwords on Dashlane and use it on websites to stay more safe. Dashlane does all the job of remembering these strong passwords and filling them in for you. Dashlane also got some additional features like dark web monitoring, which checks if your details have been compromised on the dark web and notifies you accordingly. It also comes with an inbuilt VPN, which is both fast and secure. You can try Dashlane now by going to dashlane.com slash techraj. If you want to upgrade to the premium version, make sure to use the code techraj to get additional 10% off on your purchase. The link will be in the description below make sure you check it out let's automate online classes and reduce the burden of joining the classes on time so let's go a bot to attend my online classes here is what I want my bot to do it must join my classes on time according to my timetable and also leave the class as soon as it ends it must also notify me whenever it joins a class or leaves a class this is the automation I want to achieve my online classes are held on Microsoft Teams, so I'm going to use Selenium to create my bot. Now, Selenium is a famous framework for automating and testing web applications, and it is available for many languages, including Python, which is my favorite. So, here is how I built my bot in Python. And before starting, let me tell you that this is the most basic thing you can do with Python and Selenium. It's really simple. I just need to make my bot click on certain web elements in a particular order. Basically that's it. First, the bot takes the timetable as an input and stores it in a local database. Now it opens up Google Chrome using Selenium and goes to teams.microsoft.com. If it is redirected to login.microsoftonline.com, it means that the login is required. So the bot fills the email and password fields and logs in into Microsoft Teams. Now that the bot is logged in, it schedules the joining of classes according to the given timetable. I'm using the scheduled Python library to do this. Basically, every time there is a class according to the given timetable, the schedule function calls the join class function. And here's what join class function does. It clicks on the name of the class which is to be attended. Remember, in the timetable we have given to the bot, we also mentioned the name of the class. Once clicked, it searches for the join button. If there is no join button yet, that may mean that the class has not yet started because the lecturer did not yet create a meeting. So it just keeps refreshing the page every minute for 15 minutes. And if after 15 minutes there is no join button yet, it means that the class is cancelled. However, if the join button do exist, the bot clicks on it, which brings up this pop-up. And now the bot makes sure that both the webcam and the microphone are turned off and then clicks the join now button. This enters the bot into the meeting, or in other words, into the online class. Now, based on the class end time, the bot also schedules the leaving of the class. Basically, the bot goes pause for as long as the class is going on. And when the class is supposed to end according to the class end time, it clicks on the hang up button and then comes back to the team's homepage. And also, yeah, whenever it joins a class or leaves a class, it sends that trigger to my Discord webhook. So I get a message on my Discord every time my bot joins or leaves a class. All right, that's it. Now I just need to make my bot run on cloud so that it can run without any interruptions and it can run forever until I want to stop it. So I created a Windows virtual instance on Google Cloud, opened up the instance on my personal computer with the remote desktop protocol and then imported my bot and then executed the Python script. So I can now just give my bot my Microsoft Teams login credentials and my timetable. The bot will take care of the rest. Now I need not worry about missing any of my online classes.
So thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you do like it, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and also comment down below. Tell me uh, if you really think online classes are useful at all. And also if you want to check out my code, you can find the link in the description below. And if you did not yet subscribe to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. So I'll meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.